Yes, he is. Alan! <laughs> Why say something like that? He's a savage. Well, how does he explain his behavior? He doesn't want to discuss it. But he ought to discuss it. He ought to do any number of things. He ought to come here. He ought to discuss it. He ought to be sorry for it. Clearly, you have parenting skills that put us to shame. We hope to improve, but in the meantime, please bear with us. <laughs> it's that guy in a tip of the iceberg thing. It's that guy in first class that you're sitting next to from New York to L.A. who has... All he wants to do is let you know how important he is. And whether he's on his cell phone before you take off or whether uh, he's just telling you about all his business deals, uh, it's just, it's that guy. I stand up for civilization, and it is lucky there are people prepared to do that. Do you think being a Neanderthal is a better idea? Come on now, come on! Is it normal to criticize someone for not being a Neanderthal? No one's saying that. No one's yes, they are. No, Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Well, the play calls for it, right? The play calls for a kind of um, abandon. And that's so much fun to get to do. And it seems like the meaner you get, and the more angry you get in this play, the more frustrated you get, the funnier it is. Go figure. I also love the general subject matter of the play, which is how people can be so polite and uh, follow a certain set of rules, and yet inside, these kind of beastly natures are lurking. Thank you.